Hi guys, it's Summers here and it's time to strap in for another episode of the Solihull Moors career mode series here on FIFA 20. As you can see, it is going to mean we have three more fixtures in this already packed schedule for August. Bronby is the first game of this episode, which is just a day after the team faced off against Colchester in that midweek uh, encounter. And the Bronby game is followed up by a visit to Barnsley and we also have a Carabao Cup tie against Forest Green at home. Right, here we go. They don't get any much bigger than this as we face off against Bronby here at their home stadium as we look to progress to the next stage of the Europa League. Obviously, we will have to face off them again at Damson Park, but I have had obviously a bit of trouble with the lineup in this game given that we played a game just yesterday. I had to send the boys out early. Uh, to the Danish club here in order that they worked separately from the team that faced off against Colchester. But hopefully the boys can do us a good job here on the road. We've got acres of space to run on into. Bromby not really stepping onto him. Benning into Rafferty. He does well to hold it off in the end and then fires it out wide to McCutcheon here. Builds it down the line to Smith. But the defender managed to get there ahead of him. Back in for Taylor. Benning's found some space on the edge of the box. Tries to drive in. But the defender had got his card marked. Well done, Taylor. Phil lead off here for McConnell to stride forward with it. Just about goes through with Smithy. And we will take the free kick, having not progressed any further. Off to McCutcheon into Taylor, shuffles it back out here for Bueno, comes in to Smithy, holds the man off and takes the strike, which right down the gunnel. Seen the run, overlap from Max Allen, the big man gets forward, throws it into the mixer, but it's not a great ball. Taylor does well, McDonnell up to Smith. Sends Ben in. Flag stays down. Puts back inside. Looks across to Taylor. He hits it from distance, and that is a very good save from that snapshot. Just hits it as it drifts across his body and nearly forces it in past the keeper. Taylor throws it across the field in hopes that we might get another attack in before the whistle blows, but the referee has called half time here at 0 0. Taylor off to Benning. He's managed to find McDonnell. Feeds it off. Rafty's got in behind. Goes for the little chip, but the keeper uh, had spotted what he was up to. Oh, I just can't turn it round the corner. Comes back out to Taylor though. Got them under the cosh here as Benning now turns on the edge of the box and takes the shot, but it drifts well wide of the target. Nice bit of play there that's got Taylor in. Off to Rafferty. Can't just send it round the corner for McDonnell, who is searching out that space in behind. Good ball off as well to Bueno. Feeds it in towards Rafferty, who somehow comes through the mix of players and feeds it off into the path of Kulok and back into Rafferty but the referee has seen it as an offside just steps out there the defender just in time and for our last substitution here as Pierce Rafferty comes in to the fray let's hope he can try to make a change here in the midfield area as we switch to the 4-3-3 formation that we've become accustomed to using uh, obviously we use the 4-3-1-2 formation against bigger opposition but when it comes down to needing to get a result in the last few minutes we will obviously switch things up Morris off to Patterson we've seen the space open up for Benning 
knocks it across to Rafferty and there we have it the away goal and that switch of formation has paid dividends as Brendan Rafferty the young Irishman gets himself another goal here in the Europa League and a great bit of tactical awareness by the manager here to make the switch when we needed it to at the critical point in the game and that has unlocked Brendan Rafferty to get that away goal that we so desperately needed 1-0 stands up well to that attack and again get there Campbell oh, a fantastic save by Thomas there has probably put us on a huge amount of pressure here in the dying moment trying to get back into the game fabulous save by Thomas well done Patterson coming across there to cover Oh, you're joking me. Time added on here. Sucker punch goal from Bromby as they just nail one into the box. Get there ahead of our defenders and squeeze it between Thomas and the near post. A really good finish to be fair. But that is a really big blow as we go towards the full-time whistle. and we didn't even get a chance to build another attack there as the referee blows for full time but we got the important part of this tie that was the away goal it's what we needed and we go into the home tie at Damson Park in charge here we go then the second game of the episode here is an away game against Barnsley as it's only a few days ago since we've played two consecutive games I've decided to play this away game because obviously the players are going to be fatigued quite heavily. What you're also going to notice in this episode is that I have made some changes to the kit numbers in order to fall align with the uh, League One staple uh, just as you've seen here on the back of the Barnsley kit. Uh, it's a feature that I was asked for in the comments section by one of our subscribers which is uh, Nate Hill. So hopefully Nate you're uh, happy with what you're seeing and uh, I am only going to use it on the away kit though uh, so it won't feature on the home kit. We're going to stick with the numbers and uh, the lettering that we had on those kits. Let's see how it looks in a moment in game. to get the ball away but that is a suicide pass there space in the box Cockle Mollet doing an exceptional job there to get a leg in and Rafferty feeds it back off to the ex-Warsaw man he then feeds it back into Rafferty inside for Nystrom he's seen that run and that is a fabulous piece of play there by Ritzma to block off the run of Peterson Ooh, Kelly there making the save because Pearson had dropped deep and that allowed him the space to get in behind take that shot and Kelly does well to turn it round nice by Graham to intercept for Crumollet Patterson, Peterson under pressure straight away manages to get it off to O'Connor who then fires it down the line to Evans who rolls the ball inside looks off for Nystrom, goes again but Anderson is able to prevent the ball coming back in towards the Welsh Wizard. The ball down the line, Evans back inside for Peterson, takes the dip and that was a handball ref. Ball gets away in the end, knocks it out wide here for Cockrell Mollet, goes inside and Graham who comes across the defender and takes the shot at the near post not a bad effort and draws the corner for his troubles 
It's a nice effort there. He's always going to drift wide. But the keeper decides to put a finger on it anyway. And Graham goes around his man. Chips it in. Can't find Rafferty in the middle. Rafferty this time takes the shot. But that is a very, very poor effort from the captain. Rafferty feeds it off here for Peterson. And Nystrom with the snapshot had more time than he realised. And Radlinger was able to come out and grab that ball quite quickly. And they've got him behind us there, but fortunately for us, Schmidt had got himself into an offside position as the ball was played. Ziegler just about stepped up. I'm not sure that's offside, you know, but we'll take it. And Rafferty just can't pull away. He's given up possession in a very dangerous position. And Kelly has to save us there. He pushes that one around the post. And Connor fires it down the line for Evans, who's managed to get clear of his man. They drive this into the box. He's pushed it too far. The keeper comes out at his feet to grab it. Mollett has managed to find the space here for Graham. Back into Mollett. One more to Patterson. And we all know that Eddie hasn't got the best shooting boot on the planet. Drives it straight at the keeper. Down to Dare O'Connor. Comes inside to Evans. Shifts it off to Rafferty gone again takes the first time shot but he was never going to trouble the goalkeeper and doesn't even make it into his path last gasp attempt here by the opposition Ziegler trying to get it away has given it up fortunately it ends up in the gloves of Kelly and we've got one last gasp effort in us the referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Peterson tries to field it off but can't get the ball away. And I feel that was probably the last chance we will get here in this game. As the referee does indeed call time on it. It's a nil-nil here against Barnsley in the league. And we really need to get our move, a move on with the results if we're going to try to get promoted here in the League One Championship. Okay, so here we go in the last game of this episode, and it is a Carabao Cup tie, but as we've already played two games in this episode, I am going to send out the first team squad to face off against Forest Green's 4-2-3-1 formation. Hopefully it's enough to get us over the line here in the Carabao Cup so we can make a defence of it. And unfortunately, it isn't, and we're knocked out of the Carabao Cup early at Forest Green in the second round. It is disappointing, if I'm honest, but we have such a packed schedule of games. I'm not sure how far we could realistically go into all the competitions this year, especially having the Europa League to concentrate on. Right, guys, so there we have it. Another episode done and dusted, and unfortunately, I know we've got knocked out of the Carabao Cup, but as I mentioned in that at the end of that simulated game I can't see how we were going to continue to manage the pace with the quantity of games that we need to play and the squad that we currently have at our disposal so I hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 20 content but for now I'm out of here